Idol, this is what we've been waiting all night for. The triple threat, three-way dance, main event. And here's the man that's going to take it to the top. Chris Daniels, Chad Collier, beware. Obviously, Jose Perez already worked one match this evening. Kind of weaseled his way into this three-way dance. But you know what? I got to give credit where credit is due and call a spade a spade here. Jose Perez has Oh, no. Been Not again. Oh, no. Oh, look. This fan now is in Jose Perez's face. Is this guy an idiot? Earlier. This is not something you want to do. Jose Perez will take you out with one punch. You don't get in Jose Perez's face. I guess, trying to say earlier before that crazy fan got in the way, I want to call a spade a spade here. Jose Perez does deserve to be in the championship mix here. Felt that he was being slighted by not being included in the main event, not being able to face a world-class athlete like Christopher Daniels and Chad Collier. Um, and pretty much got what he wanted, an opportunity to face these two men here tonight. Chad Collier making his debut here for PWF. Is a world-class athlete, former NCAA champion, the number one top prospect student from Dean Malenko. Um, he's been all over the world wrestling Europe and Japan um, for all the top independent promotions here in the States, including TNA. That's right, that's right. This man is the new master of the Texas Cloverleaf, thanks to Dean Malenko's guidance. Kyler is obviously very skilled with uh, mat wrestling, but also can mix it up in there, and he's got a ton of suplexes he can pull out from under his belt. And finally, from the City of Angels, weighing in at 210 pounds, he is the former NWA TNA X-Division champion, the Fallen Angel, Christopher and Daniels! Now this is someone that you keep talking about as if he's the second coming of the Lord himself Chris Daniels why do you like the fallen angel so much there Lorenzo Christopher Daniels quite possibly pound for pound the best wrestler in the United States today I mean the guy has been all over the world wrestled pretty much in every country imaginable um, has captured gold all over the world and is the former TNA X division champion well you know where he hasn't wrestled the island that Chronic's from. Do they have professional wrestling clothes in bamboo? I, I really don't know, and I don't, I'm don't. i not going to find out soon. There he is, Christopher Daniels. Everyone's on their feet for this guy. Crowd favorite, no doubt. Everyone respects the skills that Daniels brings to the ring. True professional in every sense of the word. You know, something I've been noticing with this Chris Daniels, ever since he was out here earlier, he, he has an eye for Ariel. I think he's, he's been flirting with her. Ariel, obviously the PWF Women's Champion, now aligning herself with Jose Perez. It'll be interesting to see what role he plays on the outside. Yeah, well, check this out, Lorenzo and the Benzo. Chris Daniels better keep his head and his mind on the match and not for Ariel. She has no interest in him. I talked to her earlier. She has no interest in him. She's interested in her man. And in my, in my opinion, that guy is going to win, and you know who I'm talking about. Obviously referring to Jose Perez. I That's right, say it again. Jose Perez. Absolutely. I don't think that Christopher Daniels really has any interest in Ariel here. His mind is on this triple threat match for the our main event at Inception. Obviously the winner of this match is going to get thrust into the title scene here in BWF New Jersey. So the ramifications of this match are huge. This match is huge. This is the main event of PWF, folks. And... I'm, I'm really digging this main event. Triple threat, that's what PWF's all about. Wrestling at its finest. I love it. And what I'm really going to love is when Jose Perez wins this match. No doubt about it. You're looking at him as the underdog when it comes to experience and the fact that he had a match earlier today. But, you know, looks can, can be deceiving. I mean, look at you. Some people probably think you're normal. I'll let that one go. As we get started here, Jose Perez in the ring with Chad Kyler. Christopher Daniels on the outside, on looking, says he wants these two guys to go at it. What he's doing is trying to get Ariel's phone number. Well, you can't see that. Down with a, and now we look at Christopher Daniels on the outside, watching the competition. Sitting, standing, sitting, and standing next to some bizarre looking fans. Here's a nice 
arm drag takedown by Chad Collier, now working over the arm of Jose Perez. This guy is a mat technician at its finest, no doubt about it. Got a little mohawk going there, I guess. Uh, Drops the knee on the elbow. Must have been a Road Warriors fan. And it stops on the hand. Collier now works the arm bar on Jose Perez. Very, very smart strategy, no doubt about it. <laughs> Dip forearm to the face of Chad Collier. Beautiful. That was a European style forearm right there. The right hand. With the referee asking Jose Perez to open the hands up. Whips him in. Oh, what? Small back. Oh, no. It could be over early. One, two. Kick out by Jose Perez. Both men on their feet. We're going to take a timeout. And by we, I mean Jose Perez is going to take a timeout right now. He's going to get his breather. We know you're allowed timeouts in wrestling. Crowd chanting Cole and Angel. They want Daniels in the ring. Here he is. Looks like we'll have Daniels. Uh, all three men yes, he's now. back. Jose Perez. Now Daniels and Perez join back and forth. You know what it is? Jose Perez wants Daniels one on one right now. And I don't blame him. He's Looks like he's going to get it. He's going to. Exits the ring. He's going to take him to school. He's going to put Chris Daniels on cloud nine. Get it? Cloud nine. You got it. Collar and elbow tie up into a headlock now by Jose Perez and Christopher Daniels. Daniels now working out. Oh. Walk back into that headlock by Jose Perez. Very interesting ring attire on Jose Perez. Going with the singlet, and I noticed uh, not many wrestlers wear the amateur style singlet anymore. Jose Perez does, apparently, though. Yeah, very interesting opera uh, observation there, Idol. As Daniels now floats over, single leg takedown. And apparently, the referee is wearing a striped shirt. I guess every re referee wears a striped shirt. I know they do. Will you stop? Look at this. Perez is taking him. Oh, gosh. Nice, nice. Unbelievable. Perez works the hammer lock and the front face lock. I love seeing this. I love Matt wrestling, technical style wrestling. Jose Perez is the best. Headlock now being applied by Jose Perez. Ripped off. Shoulder tackle sends Dan Daniels down to the canvas. Float over. Oh, oh shoulder tackle. How do you like that? Another float over. Oh, no. Nice single leg takedown by Daniels. Into a huge hip toss. And a drop kick wow. by the kisser. Now Perez goes to the outside. He needs a breather. And Ariel tends to. Ariel looking over a man as Christopher Daniels stands in the ring. That's timeout number two. We're allowed 14 timeouts in professional wrestling, so it's no problem. Him and Ariel are getting a strategy down. Now it looks like Jose is going to be sitting out. What about that see fan? What can do in there with Daniels. You see that fan earlier? What a moron. Uh, see that guy didn't know who Jose Perez was because Jose Perez would kick him down. Thank God security got there. Although I would have liked that see that idiot get slapped in the face. Nonetheless, collar and elbow right here. Beautiful arm drag by Collier. And one for Daniels. Standoff. And these fans appreciate this wrestling. Yeah, absolutely. You see the way Collier psychs himself up by slapping himself in the face? Bizarre. Collier is one tough customer. Obviously a little bit unorthodox. Although uh, he does have great training under the team of Lenko. Not just Dean Malenko, but the whole Malenko family, the Malenko Wrestling School. Yeah, we got a collar and elbow tie up. And that's probably the toughest wrestling school in America, from what I hear. Daniel's now working over the arm into a hammer lock. Reversed by Collier. Who would you say the, the better technical wrestler here is? It's so difficult to, 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 to tell. Jose Perez, I agree. Yep. Jose Perez is probably the best one here. I did not say that. If you had a look, ooh, nice bridge there. Wow. Collier, really applying the pressure on the hammerlock. If I had to say Matt technical wrestling, I'd have to take Collier. 
But if you're looking at overall uh, skill, I I'd have to take Daniels. Daniels obviously certainly has far more experience than both of the other men in this matchup. Nice shoulder tackle there by Collier. Throw it over. Leap frog by Daniels. Goes for hip toss blocked by Collier. Wow. Oh, oh. Close line by Collier. And here, here comes Jose oh, Perez. Oh, Jose Perez with a cutthroat clothesline. I love it. Trying to capitalize there. Smart move, I have to agree with Perez there. Now, did you see what Perez did? He waited on the outside, took advantage of the timeout that he was given, and uh, made. he watched these two get tired. Now he's full of stamina, and now he's lighting these guys up. That, that is true. Good, good, good point there, Idol. And very smart move by Jose Perez. Perez now working over both Collier and Daniels. What are these fans chanting? Jose sucks, I believe is what they're saying. I, I, don't, I don't think they're saying that. I think they're saying, Jose, hooray for Jose. Wow, did you hear that? I heard that up here. I heard that up here. Perez now working over Daniels in the corner. Collier to his feet. Oh, boy. Collier working over Perez. How come it looks like the referee's doing some type of dance? Get him out of the corner already. Now Collier looks like he's working with Daniels as he sends Perez into Daniels. A nice reverse knife edge since Dan Daniels now getting rolled up by Collier. Oh, no. Two. Oh, I thought that was going to be it there. Perez Smart move. Perez and Collier on the outside now. Perez gets set back in by, by Collier. Daniels greets him in the ring. Goes for a scoop slam. Hits the ropes. Nice knee drop by Daniels. Right under the chin. One, two. Here's another cover. One, two by Collier. Ah, uh, you see that now? It's the battle of the egos. Oh, look at Collier. He just takes a cheap shot there on Daniels. You see what happened there? And, and he's going for, for a single leg grab here. Trying to he's soften him up. The rope. Uh, he's got to defy. Daniels is close to the rope. And now what's, what's, oh, look at Jose Perez. Wow. Looks like a reverse Fujiwara armbar there. If Daniels gives up, who wins the match? Ah. Uh, We'll never know. Interesting to point out here, this is not elimination style similar to what we saw earlier in the three-way dance with the PWF New Jersey Tag Team Championship match. Correct. This is one fall to a finish, so the first person to score a pinfall or a submission here is the winner. Absolutely, and right now it looks like Chris Daniels looking a little tiki gonzo, if you know what I mean. Daniels now fires back on Collier, goes downstairs and then upstairs. Jose Perez on the outside with his manager, Ariel. Nice leg lariat there by Daniels. Caught Kyler right in the chop. Absolutely. Picture perfect leg lariat. And right now, there he is. Stiff shot to the back of the head by Perez. And a jawbreaker. Another one. Now. Wow. Oh, there's a Trying to the knock the teeth out of his face. Now. This is a cover. One, two. This is what I'm talking about. Perez is an opportunist. And there's a blatant choke by Perez. The referee's got to get in there and stop. Oh, it. come on. It was a nerve hold. There was no choke. Wow, what a oh, European. A nice, yes, European uppercut. Awesome. A couple of shots to Daniels is down. Some for Perez, some more for Daniels. At least he's sharing the kicks. Perez now again. It looks like Perez landed poorly on that ankle. Yeah, he's clenching that ankle. Yeah, he clenches his ankle. I don't know what's going on there. I'm sure he's fine. He's on his third timeout. We have another 11. Suplex blocked by Daniels. Going for one of his own. Oh! Oh, and he just lays out Collier across the top rope there. That was awesome. Oh! Spot kick by Daniels. Unbelievable. And these fans appreciate stuff like that. They like seeing Chad Collier get kicked in the face. Absolutely. Ha. Collier now on the outside. I gotcha. You thought I was going to say, these fans love, you know, pure wrestling at its finest. No, they love watching Collier get smacked in the face. But they wish Jose Perez did it. You know what Jose told me earlier today? He said, Idol, I am too hot to handle and too cold to hold. And I was like, man, you are cool. There's a plancha over the top rope by Daniels onto Collier. Jose Perez still on the outside, favoring that ankle. Uh, he either twisted it or planted wrong. Oh. He takes a shot to the gut there from Daniels. How did he see him? You can see Perez definitely favoring that ankle. He's limping around out there trying to keep the weight off of it. 
Could have been one of those boots that he took from Collier. I'm sure it was an illegal move. I'm sure there was an illegal move that happened that hurt his ankle. And, of course, the ref didn't see it because the ref is unbiased. Daniels now back in the Oh! Middle. Wow. Stiff shot in the face of Collier. Perez trying to make his way back in the ring. does. Limping around on that bad wheel. Couple of shots to the stomach. He doesn't have much behind those because he didn't have any weight to put on his legs. Reverse knife edge in the corner. Snap air takeover. And reverse her. Beautiful. Reverse chin lock. When it comes down to it, Lorenzo, you stick to the basics. And that's good. That's what's going to... What is Here this? Collier. He's got a sleeper on Perez. He's got a reverse chin lock on Daniels. How weird is this? I've never seen anything like this. With submission moves on each other. Collier obviously in the best position here. Daniels trying to work up to his feet. No way. Oh! Triple jawbreaker. That would be a double jawbreaker. Actually, yes, you're right. See, I'm not, I'm not afraid to tell you when you're right. Yeah. Even though you're wrong. Anyway, now Daniels with a stiff right hand on Collier. Oh, back and forth. Another shot by Collier and another chop. Second one. And another forearm shot. Whips Daniels off the ropes. Daniels ducks the clothesline. Comes over the high cross body. Just count two. Oh, three. Very close. God, I'm sweating. I'm getting nervous. Here's a small package. One, two. It is quite hot in here. As if I almost ate five food just now. There's a shot to the gut by Daniels. And one to the face. Daniels now taking control of this matchup. He's got Collier and Perez down. The reason I'm sweating is because I'm getting a little nervous for my my good my, my man over there. He hurt his ankle. I, I think I should go down there and make sure he's all right. Uh, you, you have to stay right here and do your job. Oh. Do what you're getting paid for. So are we getting paid for this? Well, I know I am. Talk to my agent. Daniels in the corner now. Getting worked over by Collier. Only guy I know that gets paid in peanuts sitting stiff right next to me. Stiff right hands. And here comes Perez to break that up. Perez now whips Collier into the corner. Oh! Here comes whips Daniels. And oh. Daniels catches Collier with a boot. Wow! A bulldog and a clothesline out of the corner by Daniels. That was some type of one-man sheep herders action right there. Great double team. Here's the count. Covers two. Two count only on both men. Now covers Perez alone. Two count. Covers Collier. Another two count. Daniels trying to end this match. What action we're seeing here. This is what the fans of PWF New Jersey came to see. I love it. I love it. These guys are awesome. No doubt about it. Back and forth wrestling action. Oh, wow. Look at this. Caught on the top now. Double slam by Collier and Perez off the top rope. Perez obviously still favoring that ankle. He gets caught. My God. With an implant DDT by Collier. That was a serious DDT. Oh, no. Oh, no. One, two. Oh, I thought this one was over. I hate to say this, but you can tell Perez is looking a little a little hurt right now. That kick out wasn't a kick out that you would see five minutes ago. He, he, uh, we're on timeout number six, so we're fine. Daniels whipped in, takes an elbow, and a clothesline. Wow. And now a drop kick. That was nice. Beautifully done. Collier gets... Tremendous action in this matchup. It slipped up to everything we thought it would. Absolutely. He's getting pumped. Shot into the corner. There's a kick by Daniels. Wow. Nice Russian leg sweep. Broken up by Perez. That was like a reverse Russian leg sweep. Yes, exactly. Thank you. I, I call it as I see it. I've never seen a move like that before. I didn't know how to call it. Perez now. Oh. Nice super kick. I'm surprised he was able to pull that off with a bad wheel. Oh, no. German suplex stuff right on his head. My God. Holy. God. Ugly. Perez might be knocked out here. Wow, that was nice. There's a Novocaine type of maneuver from Chris Daniels onto Chad Collier. All three men are down here. She's moving so quickly I can hardly call it. Right now, she is so beautiful. And and all now incredible wrestler. I'm telling you, Chris Daniels has a little thing for her and he better he needs to focus. I don't think he's focused. There's a Russian there's leg sweep. Absolutely. Jose Perez. Come on, Jose. I'm not rooting for anybody. You can see you try to stay impartial. That's your job. Two count. You can see Jose still holding on to that ankle. He's obviously he's hurt that pretty badly. 
I give him credit for staying in this match. Wow. There's a rock bottom type maneuver from Daniels. It looks like we're going for the BME, the best moonsault ever. Will he hit it? Wow. Yes, he does. Beautiful that's it. Done. I'm There's sorry, that's one, it. One, two. No, Tyler saves himself in this matchup and dumps Daniels hard to the floor. Now, oh no, I hope he's not going. Take advantage. He's going for the clover leaf. This is not good. Not good at all. And with Perez's ankle in the shape that it is, he is not going to be able to withstand this for long. Oh no. He oh, can no. tap out any second here. Oh, you can hear Perez just writhing him. Come on, Perez. I gotta give Perez credit. He's he's hung tough in here. I didn't think he would last this long. Neither did I. Oh, what a kick to the back of the head. Did you him. hear that? We heard it all the way up here in the balcony, folks. Uh, Angel's like, wings. Yes, he's going for the Angel's wings. His finishing maneuver. Oh, no. No, backdrop out. Not many men have reversed that move. Sunset flip here on Collier and Daniels. Oh, reversal by Collier. Wow. So many false finishes here, I can hardly keep up. Double clothesline, both men down to the canvas. Right back where they started from. They each other in the, in the process, which would have, I guess, given the victory to Jose Perez if that had happened. Oh, that would have been very interesting and very good on my eyes. He's going for some type of go behind, hits the ropes. Daniels again setting up for the Angels wings. No! Oh, oh no. And he hit it. Great. Come on, Jose. This match is over. But where's the referee? The referee's being distracted by Ariel on the outside. Oh, will you stop? This He's match trying is to. Over. We saw a three count there. This is what I was talking about. This is what I was talking oh, about. There's Ariel. She's got. She was holding Daniels' legs. And Jose Perez capitalized on the Angels' wings and won this matchup. Oh, how do you like that? See where flirting gets you, Christopher Daniels. She wants nothing to do with you. Stop trying to whisper Flirting. sweet nothings. She absolutely held Daniel's leg. He couldn't get back into this matchup. Will you stop? Nonetheless, the winner of the main event of PWF New Jersey, the oh, man. It's unbelievable. Jose Perez just stole a victory. He did. Two of the greatest wrestlers in the U.S. today. He, he did what he had to do to get a win. You look at his name in the record book, and tonight there'll be a W there. The victory over Chris Daniels and, and oh Daniels. no. He's getting in Ariel's face. He is pissed off. See what happens when you get rejected? See what happens when you get rejected? And he's throwing Ariel into the ring. Daniels, she wants nothing to do with you. She has Jose. Come on. I don't condone putting your hands on a woman, but in this case, I may make an exception. As she cost Christopher Daniels this matchup, and she does not want to date you. Jose Perez into the world title picture here in PWF. Oh no. Oh no. This now, is not Chad looking Collier good. Is up on his feet. He's obviously visibly upset. No, no, Arrow. come on, no. Wait, oh, wait, here's Mikey Whipwreck. Thank God. Mikey Whipwreck's in the ring. Make sure this won't like happen. Mikey's gonna stop this, and oh, thank cooler God. heads may prevail here. Mikey Whipwreck. Oh, what Mikey the? Mikey Whipwreck with the whippersnapper on Ariel. Are you kidding me? Mikey Whipwreck just hit the whippersnapper on Ariel, and she is out. And, and you're laughing. And you're laughing. I'm sorry. Like I said, I don't condone hitting a woman, but in this case, she physically involved herself in this match. She gets what's coming to her. Mikey Whipwreck should be fined, sued, and everything else that should be done. The PWF office better look at this and just see that Mikey Whipwreck laid his hands on a woman for no good reason. Oh. Uh, Daniels using Ariel as a seat there. Real funny. Everyone's a comedian. Meanwhile, her, Jose Perez, the winner of this matchup, is nowhere to bound. He leaves Ariel in the ring to take the punishment that she does. Although he is, he did have an ankle injury, so that may not be able to help her out. Nonetheless, folks, well, the first show inception for PWF New Jersey is now in the books. As you see, Christopher Daniels, Mikey Whipwreck, and Chad Collier are in the ring. It was everything we thought it would be, Idol, and then some. Absolutely, my tag team, the Long Island Blondes. I love them, and as I predicted, they won the tag team championship. And then, Jose Perez, my buddy Jose, took the main event. The underdog won, and that's what I love about Jose, and that's what I love about PWF. Well, fans, we got everything we wanted here tonight. And our next show, October 21st, right back here at the PWF New Jersey Arena, Hellbent, is going to be hopefully just as good as this show. I'm sure it's going to deliver just as well as this show did, and then some. We have the round lobby tournament for the PWF New Jersey title.
Absolutely. The Mama Luke's, Tony Mama Luke's, Damien Dragon, Bandito, Pinky, Party Boy Pinky. I don't know why you Dan like Barry? him. Yes, Irish Car Bomb Dan Barry. It's going to be awesome. It is. It is. There you see Chad Collier. That's going to do it here tonight for our first show. What a success it was, PWF New Jersey Inception. And we hope you join us here again October 21st for Hellbent. For the idol, this is Lorenzo Papa. Thanks for tuning in. Good night.